Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole. Today I'm going to be doing a resin pour for my soap dishes, and I just thought I would bring you guys along. I use the Easy Cast, and that's a one part to one part. So I'll be splitting this up into colors, but I use part A. I use equal parts. I use these little red cups to measure. I have so much fun with these soap dishes. And, uh, I'm going to do my little parts pouring and then I'm going to show you guys uh, two soap dishes that I'm going to make today. These pieces are for my Halloween set and you know, tomorrow I'll mold them and I'll make soap dishes in a few days after they've cured. Okay, so I won't be adding color until after I have all this mixed up. I'll pour them into a bigger container. It's real important to scrape your sides and get all of part A and all of part B. At least every drop that you can possibly get out of there works better that way. I've seen a lot of people where they get uh, parts of their mold um, are harder than others and it's because you don't, it's not mixed right. And it's real easy to do. You've really got to mix this stuff. So that's part A. And now I'm going to add part B in there. You have about 40 minutes to work with this. I've never taken 40 minutes, but you can. Um, there's some resins that are done in like 10 minutes. You know. These actually take 24 hours to cure. Well, not to, to be able to unmold and a full week for a full cure. I mean, they seem done after the 24 hours, but like if you stack them on top of each other, they'll stick together if you don't like that seven days. Okay, so part B is in there. And now you just mix, and you 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 mix. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is why I normally sit down to do these, which is why you guys don't get a lot of videos for this because it's, you know, just a lot of this, really. Hang on, one second, I'll bring it back on. I have to get my lighter, I forgot it. Sorry, still mixing. Went over by some dried flowers, piece of it. Looks like it fell in, but I got it out. Scraping your sides while you're mixing. Very important. Now for these, I'm gonna do brown for the owl in the tree, black for the black widow. Um I'm going to put a little drop of red in the center, and then uh, black for the bats, white for the hand, white for the wings, and you know what, I don't even know what this is, so we're going to pour resin in and find out. I cannot tell. Somebody gave us this mold. It's a 3D mold, so I really cannot tell what it is, so we're going to find out. Sometimes that's the way you find out. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to continue mixing this because I have to do my colors. So, I'm doing the brown now, so let me put... I don't want too much brown. Because it's just for the owl in the tree. And that tree, by the way, holy moly. I did it with soap already. And it was a real mess. <laughs> I'm hoping it goes better with resin, but we will find out. It's a little tiny bit. This is just nurture soap, milk of brown, mica. 
And you just mix that in real good. I hope I got enough resin in there. I'm gonna put just a tiny, tiny bit more in. I always regret it when I do that, but. Because I always overestimate how much I'm gonna need of something. You wanna make sure that mica is completely mixed so you don't get like spots. Mica actually mixes in really well. I have a little bit of trouble with the oxides and pigments, but I can get them mixed in just a few. You'll see in a minute because I'm going to do some red. And the really red from Nurture Soap is a mica, but it's also got pigment in it. So, okay, so now we're going to pour the out. sure I get it full enough okay and then now we're gonna try this dang tree I'm really hoping it goes better with resin than it did with soap it's so tiny and so fragile and I think I got too much on there already let me spread this out and see where we are I'm going to dump some of this back into the cup because it's too much and then it's a real mess to clean up if you leave that much excess on something so small. that and I did I did make too much brown so we'll see what I use it in they not very paper towels but I will use the rest of that brown just not sure in what yet okay then I'm gonna pour off my black and I do need a little bit more black and did brown but not too much more Sometimes I get real carried away. Oh, oh yes, yeah, so the black, that's an oxide, so you're going to see right away. Oh, but I've got to do my red first. I forgot that she has a red belly. Plus, I'll do some red hearts. I use the really red from Nurture Soap and that black is the black oxide from Nurture Soap. Okay, I get the red mixed up first. Okay, so remember this has got pigment in it, so it likes to try to lump a little bit. If you guys can see, but it does mix in. You just got to be patient with it. See, there's a lot of bubbles on that owl. You can also use a heat gun for this, which I might have to. Holy crap! Okay, I'm just going to put a little tiny drop right in the center if I can. Come on, just a drop, baby. Okay. And now I'm going to mix my black oxide, and this is completely oxide, so it does mix in. It just takes a minute. Might pour all my extras in here just to see what it is. <laughs> I don't know. 
have a lot of other molds sitting around here that will be able to be filled with the extra. Okay. And I just try to pour real slow, right from the center, so it expands out to all of her little legs, except for that she's overflowing in the center and not expanding. I had this problem with the soap, too. It's tricky with these little tiny details, but I just spread it around here, make sure it gets good and in those crevices. Really good, and then I'll pour off the excess. I've learned the hard way what a horrible nightmare it is to try to clean these up once they're solid. <laughs> My husband actually does it for me, cleans them up. But you know, if I can fix it before it gets to that point, at least a little bit, then that's better. She's got some air bubbles, but I'll get to those. And then I'm going to pour my bats. These are real easy to over pour, by the way. Just so easy. And I haven't poured resin in oof, a month. It's been a while. I was pouring resin every day. I get a, I get soap. Sometimes I get real crazy. And you can overpour so easy. Oh shoot, and I'm dripping. Okay. There's that. And I do believe the rest is going to be white. Maybe. I don't know. I have other molds over here. I have one for blue. So maybe I'll do a blue. And move this stuff. Well, let me do... Let me do some white for you guys real quick. The angel wings are going to be white. The skeleton is going to be white. Now, I normally for white use... The snowflake sparkle from Rambleberry. But I think today I'm going to try the diamond dust and just see how that goes. And I stuck this in there before getting my mica. Not smart. It's okay. Because the easy cast dries clear. So if you don't put something white in it, it will not get white, it'll get clear. And you'll see that in my soap dishes. Oh, that dissolves really good, just like the snowflake sparkle. The diamond dust is from uh, Nature's Garden. <laughs> They're really nice. Okay, so we're gonna start with the hand. It's another tricky mold. And you need to try to make sure you're on a flat surface. I use this tray because I move them to an absolutely flat surface um, after I pour them. Okay, I over poured that a little bit. Let me clean that on up. My husband will be so happy that I clean these up before they set. Make it so much easier on him, right? Alright, this one got some on the edge. It'll go good. So I'm going to do the white angel wings. I'll go over all these with the lighter if my letter is going to work. 
and then usually for white I do I have some others uh, like roses I like white roses sometimes I mix them that one is not level there we go like uh, put a little bit of red in and a little bit of white This might be pretty. Okay, let's see what we get here. The, yeah, these roses bubble a lot. I have to go back two or three times after. It's like the first couple of hours to make sure that they're not bubbling again. Maybe we'll do the same thing with the hearts, huh? Some red and white hearts. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to do those little tiny ones. They look like a real pain. Well, we're going to run out of white here, so if they're going to be a lot more red. Um, before I run out of white, I want to do some cards. Oh, shoot. Not, not, why did I do that? Holy moly. Hang on a second. Because I'm always forever running out of cards for the... Uh, um, Gambler soap dish I make, which is pretty popular. I'm guessing, you know, because I actually live in Vegas. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Come on. I know there's enough in here to fill this. It just drips so slow, so I don't want this video to be a thousand hours long. Another reason I have never filmed the pouring of this. My husband filmed me the other day. But I never uploaded it because, um, I don't know. I try the same techniques that I use with soap and it doesn't always work. But, you know, anyway. Let me get the red into these hearts here since I started I gotta finish them these cavities hold a lot more than they look like I just had this cut off guard about the white <laughs> it's fine usually they hold a lot less than they look like okay so now I'll do the diamond and the heart for my gambler. This is a different kind of heart. It's much flatter. Oh, I forgot to do the cards with the white. That's okay. We'll do them on the next go around. Ah. Uh, Okay, that's all that's going to go on that tray. Hang on one second. I gotta try to get this thing to pop these bubbles here. Makes a huge difference. Even if you don't see them, you'll notice it when you go to flame them because um, you'll just see the difference. Okay, so that's that one's done. Okay, and then I usually just use this for my soap dishes. It's just a book. But I'm going, I made too much, so 
So let's see if I can line these up and still fit the soap dishes on here. So if not, the soap dish shape. Sorry, guys. I I must have colors all over my hands. I am really getting color in these things, and I do not want color. There's that one. And here is this one. Scoot over. Okay. Now, I have some brown. Oh, I was going to fill this little thing yet. Let's do that. Because we don't know what this is. So you guys will have to stay tuned. I don't have anything that would be brown. Well, maybe. No, I don't. Put the rest of the brown in here. We'll see what this is. It's who knows? It could be anything. I cannot see down in there. Probably would have been better to try with soap so that I would be able to tell right away. <laughs> Just a couple of hours instead of having to wait. That's okay. I'm going to put uh, the red in here. The rest of the red. There's not a lot left. Okay, oops, get in there, and then I'm going to pour the rest of the black in there, and I'm hoping that's enough, but it's not. So when I do my blue, it's going to have some blue in it. This will be very interesting to see what the heck it is. And if these colors um, mix or how they do, what they do. I've never felt filled something this deep with layers of colors, so we will see what happens. I'm an experimenter. That's what I do. That one's empty. So, let's do some blue. Looks like I already brought my blue cups over. Okay, so we're going to do some blue here. I think we'll just finish it off with blue. We'll just do blue everything so at the end. So I don't need this stuff. And I actually wipe out the insides of these cups. And besides the red and the black, I really can reuse them. And even the red and the black, as long as I reuse them for red and black, it's fine. Okay, so for the blue, I'm using the Brilliant Blue from Nurture. I really need the blue because of my unicorns. Because I do those mainly in blue. Blue and copper usually, but today they're just going to be blue. And I've been needing to make more in there because I didn't have enough for a soap dish. So, so we will do that. So I just pour from the middle. No, guys. No, I'm filming. Stop. No, 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 no. This one is tricky. This whole mold is tricky. I mean, like, she's just tricky in general. Oh, 
Okay, let's see how that one does. This one is tricky for soap, but it does pretty good with um, resin. But with soap, the tail is so thin, it just breaks and breaks and breaks. I mean with soap, yeah. With resin, she does pretty good, and I overfilled her. I usually do. This one's a Pegasus. And it's tiny. Not as tiny as the next one I'm going to show you, though. So I just start doing drops. This one is itty bitty. She does not work out all with soap. But with resin, eh, sometimes I can get it out. I don't know. I see that I made a mess with her. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> and now, I think I have enough for, I think I have enough for a fairy. So I'll just do the fairy. She's a pretty big mold. But I need to have enough to finish filling that other whack thing. <laughs> Whatever it is. This thing. This is really just to see what it is, but maybe I'll fall in love with whatever it is. And you guys will see it with me. Okay, that is full. Okay. I'm going to go to this with my lighter, so I don't need these. Get them off of there. I'm going to go over with my lighter once I have the soap dishes done. Okay, so now here's how, here's how I do the soap dishes, okay? I do the same mix. I do the part A. parts to part B. And I'll just, yeah, I'll just torch those together. And then it's just the same mixing that I did before. But Now sometimes I do a layer underneath and a layer on top, but this time I think I only need the one layer, but we'll see. Let's see how it goes. I'm pouring them all together, which I am completely off of camera. And I gotta scoop out my cups anyway, so hang on one second, let me get my sticks and bring this back to the camera. I'm pretty sure that's on camera. I could scrape these out. Okay. And then this. First one I'm doing was the doing the Game of Thrones and a um Fairy tale. Fairy tale was a special request for purple, um, and I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter in her. So I'll do the Game of Thrones one first that doesn't get glitter. Cause my husband hates it when I put the glitter in the soap dishes that he has to use, <laughs> and he probably won't use this one because I think it'll probably sell. So, but you know. That same old, same old mixing, 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 mixing. Scraping the sides. And I'm sure you get it really good and mixed. Okay, now I'm 
I'm going to let it sink in the mold so you can see. Okay, she's going to be going right here. And then I like to do roses with her. The Game of Thrones, I think I'm going to do the... Oh, wait. I think with the Game of Thrones, I think I have to do... I have not done one in a while. And I'm thinking that they bo that both of these ones need the bigger... They're not actually bigger. They take up the same amount of... Um, they take up the same amount of resin to fill. But one, you know, this is different shapes. So let's see, we'll get some purple flowers in here too. I'm gonna want white and purple. I, I do this just to line them up to see what I wanna do. But then, I pull it out. Oh, it's black. Oh yeah, I already have black in there. Don't they have any gold roses? For heaven's sakes. Just black. I have a lot of black roses. I I really like black roses. Okay, so black it is. Black it is. Okay, that's how that one's gonna go. And then I might we will see if she'll fit that way. I have any more white roses. Now I just line these up and then sometimes it's just not the way it goes in once I put resin in here. I mean I try, you know. But oh. Yes, and I poured hand poured all of these, so you can tell I've been busy pouring theme beds for the soap molds. <laughs> But I actually haven't poured any for a while. So I'm going to do this so I remember. And then these go just like this. I just set them over here so I remember how I want it. Not necessary that that's the way it comes out. This is just the way that I design it. And uh, but that doesn't always translate. Okay. So I'm going to put in a layer into each one. What is that? Oh, it's something. Okay. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to spread this out everywhere. I usually could torch it a little bit before I put in my pieces, even though the pieces will add more bubbles. I'm trying to make sure I have it everywhere. Evenly, as even as possible. Okay, now let me torch it real quick. I torch my little tiny one over here too. Okay. Now these look stained. They have a stain with all kinds of color, but the color doesn't won't go into the soap dish. It's cured. <laughs> Onto the how did we have this? Let's just get her in there and then we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, I think that we had to turn it like that. And put this one here. This one here. Okay. That one went pretty smoothly. Okay, so we get her in first. She's so pretty. I love her. My 
fairy. I have some smaller roses that maybe I can put in here. Oops. <laughs> See, they like to try to move around at this point. So sometimes, actually, even after I place them, sometimes I don't get exactly what I was looking for because they just move and move and move. I have, let's see, I was looking for some tiny purple ones, but. Oh, oh wait, here's a tiny, tiny purple one. She's so tiny. It is so tiny. I don't even know if it'll be visible. And here's a tiny, tiny white one. Another pretty tiny white one. <gasps> yes, damn it! I have to wipe that down. Looking for some more purple ones, but maybe I have just used them all. I have I have all kinds of tiny other colors. So okay, I don't want to overdo her anyway. It's and that's that's a real thing with me overdoing. As you saw, am I oh shoot, I didn't put any purple glitter. Okay. So I'm gonna go over the tops of these with the second pour. I'm gonna try to do I try to Let me go over her. Try to make sure every surface gets covered. Which is kind of hard. With these little like roses. Yeah, she's not getting any glitter, sorry guys. <laughs> She's really pretty anyway. She doesn't need all that extra. I see a spot on him that's not covered. Services are covered. But we do our best here. and then I will bring you guys back tomorrow for the unmolding of the soap dishes and all the little embeds we made today. Yeah, I know it's smoking a little bit, but I gotta get these bubbles out. <laughs> and there are quite a few here. 
you when you're putting the embeds in, it likes to bubble up. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Hi, welcome back. And I don't think my son got the memo that I was going to unmold these on camera, so he unmolded some of them, the that hearts. That helping. <laughs> he unmolded the hearts, the, um, the bats. And I don't know what I was thinking about the spider. She needs to be trimmed up. We'll do that. But I put the red on her back instead of her belly. So that's it. Came out good anyway. So we'll mold the owl. It's been a little over 24 hours. I can't. I hope you guys can see this. I can't tell what you guys can see anymore. Okay. The tree that came out much better than it does in soap. I'm gonna be honest. Everything it's, that you see, they can see really well. In soap, it comes out really bad. Not bad, but okay. Can you quit messing with the camera? I'm just I'm begging. This Wayne's here with us. Say hi. Hey, hey. So that's the tree. It's much prettier in resin than in soap. And here's the hand. You guys are seeing this as I'm seeing them. I'll be putting these in a soap dish. I think it will be fun. My angel wings, I'm hoping I can just pop these out. I know that these molds are harder to get out than silicone. That's one of the wings. There's another wing. This one's the surprise. Nobody knows what it is, but it looks big. I think it might be fruit, and we colored it a million different colors. Hang on. <laughs> I just put it in my excess, honey. Oh, wait, I think it's a skull. Oh, my, it's a really cool skull. He is awesome. He's got, like... He's got bones on top of bones? Yes, it's like bones, like, a, like bones on the skeleton. He's really, really cool. I don't know if you guys can see the detail or not. I think maybe you guys can see better when it's farther away. I don't know. He's pretty cool. I really like him. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with him, but I like him. <laughs> okay. These are just the white roses. These ones had a little bit of red in them. And these are for the gambler. Um, soap dishes. Let's see how easy it is to clean up when it gets on there. So, that. Okay. Now, yeah. My unicorns. So pretty. Shiny. It's nice to be trimmed up a little bit, but the Pegasus. And Itty bitty Pegasus. Okay, and then my fairy. She's so pretty. I love her. Okay, and then this is the soap dish that has already been ordered. And that's what she looks like finished. I'm really hoping you guys can see because I can't see. Yeah, I think can see. Uh, he will buff this out and then we'll put little rubber stoppers on each side. This corner. And this is the Game of Thrones soap dish. And again, we'll buff this out and put the rubber stoppers on there. And so that's all. That's what I do with the resin. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.